Stephen, today marks the end of a terribly sad chapter for the family of Matthew Landry. The criminal case has come to an end. Did you seriously think you would get away with it? You picked the wrong person. You picked the wrong son, the wrong brother, the wrong uncle, and the wrong friend. 18 months after her son was kidnapped, shot, and killed, Doreen Landry gets the last word, facing the second defendant convicted in her son's death. What else is sad is that you knew right from wrong, yet you did it anyway. You had plenty of opportunity to let him go, and he asked you to let him go. She didn't let him go. 21 year old Matt Landry was carjacked outside in East Point Quiznos back in 2009. His body was eventually found inside an abandoned home in Detroit. Iha Maslamani and Robert Taylor were convicted of the crime. And with Robert Taylor's sentence to life in prison today, it marks the end of the criminal chapter of the case. Every time you step into court, it's like a wave of ice cold water. Um, all the anxiety comes back, <coughs> everything, all the nightmares, all the ugliness of it. So to not have to do this anymore is a huge relief. In court today, Taylor said he felt bad for what happened. Doreen Landry said the one thing he could do was to make sure his younger siblings do not look up to him. Why have two other people go down the same path and, you know, there could be another mother standing here because they glorified their brother. They, oh, he's a hero. No, I didn't want that. You know, it's one decent thing he has left to do. Doreen Landry said today there will never be closure. The pain is always there with the loss of a son. We're live in the newsroom. Michael Rosenfield, Channel 7 Action News.